Good afternoon and welcome to today's video. It's another great weather weekend. It's like uh, I've been lucking out this, these past two weeks. It's about 54, 55 degrees right now and the sun has just come out. So it's a, it's a pretty warm day. The only bad thing is that it actually rained last night. So instead of doing a trail ride today, I've decided to do a little bit of a gravel ride. I'm at Star Camp in Land Between the Lakes and this is another gravel route that we do quite a bit in the winter. I think this one is usually a little bit more challenging than the one I did last week. I'm supposed to be doing two hours on Trainer Road but I'm just trying to take advantage to the good weather as often as I can. Next week is my recovery week and that will be the end of my first six week sweet spot base plan. So after next week, I'll be starting another six week sweet spot base trainer road plan. So since I've got a lot of indoor riding scheduled and the weather is just going to go downhill from here, I'm taking advantage of these days, even though I know I won't be doing the same sweet spot work today. So yeah, let's, let's get this ride started. so far I'm not surprised because of all the rain we're actually lacking on the gravel part a lot of the gravel has washed away I guess and they haven't regraveled it anytime recently this would be really fast for a cross bike or a gravel bike right now this would be a really good route <laughs> So I didn't mention that this route is actually part of a bigger course that we design when training for Leadville. So there's actually about six miles of paved in the middle of this gravel route. I'm kind of just riding around on some random gravel roads around here. The ones that I was riding on were getting kind of busy. A lot of people hunt back there. This is Pisgah Point at Land Between the Lakes. I mean, sometimes you have to get outside so that you can experience days like this and this kind of nature and weather. And this is good for like your mind and your soul. Sometimes you need a break from the trainer on intervals, but I just kind of want to sit here for a while. It's nice. So I've totally gotten myself distracted and because Pisca Point crosses right by the trail entrance down here on the North South Trail, I figured I'd get on the trail and check it out for a bit and then I started to have a lot of fun so now I am Holy crap, look at that. Anyways, now I'm just riding the trail and I'm like, well, I have to eventually go back to my car. So I'm gonna ride to Hillman's, which is a little over two miles from here, and then just take the road back, which is the trace, back to my car at Star Camp. The bike is absolutely filthy and so am I. I'm gonna have to wash all my gear, every piece of kit. The shoes were completely clean. I can't, compl I can't complain. This is beautiful weather today and it ended up being, it ended up being a gravel road, gravel 
trail road ride. The things you can do on a mountain bike, right? So I'm in this completely abandoned pic this picnic area and out of nowhere, someone shows up to use the bathroom here. Oh, they're having a picnic, my bad. So yeah, this, this is like not a popular spot at this time of year by any means. I'm changing pretty out in the open because nobody's here. These people show up. It's a lot harder being a woman because there's fewer of us, so we have to worry about exposing ourselves more, I think. Does, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm leaving. All right, I just got done shopping at Wooden Wave. I picked up a cyclist case. It's just kind of like a gear bag to help keep my gear organized in my car. I, I don't know if you've looked back there lately, but it's a disaster. And I had to pick up a Shimano 11 speed chain for the road bike because I can tell that it seems like that chain is starting to get stretched and worn. I'm gonna check it later, but I figured I'd go ahead and grab a chain while I was here. I always like to have extra chains because these things, you gotta replace them. You gotta do your maintenance. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.